funny thing about the smart car is the rear tire, which is the wider one, is almost the same width as this, uh, what do you call it? Chalk. <laughs> the front's about the same. Super tiny tire. I mean, you could you can wrap your hand around it. So narrow it is. Found it. There's a little nut under there that you have to find. That's where the jack goes. I didn't see it. It's really buried under the plastic. So I'll show after I get this jacked up where it's at. You have to get the wheel slightly off. Always get yourself a good breaking bar. It's so weird only seeing three lug nuts. Okay. It's cold. It's like in the 30s or 40s right now. And it's a stud. Like that, or you want to call it? <laughs> so, so light. Oh my god, this is feels like 20 pounds, maybe. Good old extension on my. Probably have to use the breaker bar on this. <laughs> oh wow, it's not seized. That's good. I think I need an extension for this back one. So, so far, 13 mil for the caliper. You know, I'm surprised how easy that came off. Most of the time, it's an absolute nightmare to get these off any car I've worked on. They probably put anti seize on here. Alright, so both the caliper screws or nuts have been taken off. So wiggle this bad boy right off. Get yourself a little paracord or something, and you're gonna hook it, and then you wanna wrap it from dangling. We're gonna go ahead and get these brake pads off. You can see it, better angle for you. All right, so these are pretty, pretty tarnished. Um, not horrible, but they still have some life in them, but rusted because it's been parked out in the rain, but I'd say about 20%, 30%. I mean, they're still got a lot of chunk in them, but you know, they're, they're, they're scratched and it's just better just to change them. Okay. So just in case you're wondering, the caliper, the caliper bracket is a 16 or I'm sorry, 18 millimeter. Ooh. Actually not too bad. as bad as I thought. I got lucky. And they're the same size, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I do have some thread lock that I'm gonna put on there. There's your caliper bracket. Okay, so now we've got the caliper bracket off the car. That has been removed, set aside. We're gonna go ahead and get this uh, star key, whatever, I don't know what size this is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. Um, Hopefully it doesn't strip out and we can remove this rotor and uh, hopefully it's not seized to the, the hub and then really straightforward from there, just pull it off, go ahead and pop the new rotor on. We're going to clean it first, uh, make sure we get off any grease. These things come pre-greased, just keep them from rusting, so a little carb cleaner and a microfiber towel. Got the downsizer on my downsizer on my adapter to my adapter to my thingy. I don't know what it is, but we're going to wing it. And since I'm not going to be obviously reusing this rotor, I'm just going to just jerry rig it. Is this recommended? No. Do I care? No. Oh, sweet. Oh, happy days. I was not expecting that to work. I usually am so unlucky with stripped out bolts. I mean, like, probably the worst luck I ever know out of anybody. Okay, so, this thing is obviously seized pretty good. So 
gonna. <laughs> Bonafide mechanic. All right. We only messed up some of the stuff. Usually you use a rubber mallet, but mine actually just broke not too long ago. So I'm not using a rubber mallet. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this lip on here. But it's, it's a pretty thick lip. It's actually got a good chuck on it. Um, definitely trash. Good scrap, that's it. All right, so got the rotor off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything off. I have a good mating surface. And then uh, go ahead and slap everything back on. And this just makes your life easier for the next. Plus, it's good to clean it a little bit, you know? Don't hurt. That's definitely an excessive amount, but I don't care. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the rotor. Try to get it off this pad. Just wipe off most of the grease if you can, just cause they ship it with a little bit of layer of oil on it so it doesn't rust, as I said earlier. And oil and brakes don't go well together. I'm gonna go ahead and line up that little hole and hope this doesn't fall. We'll also, also doing this. Get my good old Loctite out. This stuff, you let it sit for a while, it gets gets hard. You gotta, sometimes you gotta break it off. I just use a hammer and just, there we go. Just like that. She's happy. Go ahead and put a little, a little glob. Get a little chunk off there. That should be good. And now we're gonna line it up. Screw this bad boy in. And if it doesn't feel like it's going in, don't force it. Just, just let it be natural. I can tell you that if you cross thread that, well, you're SOL. Not really. It's just gonna be a nightmare to fix. It. You can always tap it. Now, I don't know the torque specs of this. I'm gonna assume guten tight, German word. I do have a torque wrench, but guten tight should be good. Now let's go ahead and bolt the caliper bracket back on now that we've got it's uh, let's make sure these boots are good. Is that boots good? Yeah. Okay. A little bit of oop, dripping it all on my shoe. Probably more than enough. I'll share, share some of that with the other one. We're gonna spread the love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spread the love. Yeah. Ah, it's got grease. You know what? Clean the rotor off at the end. <laughs> at least clean the back before you put it on. See, that's good and clean, but. Okay, it's finally lined up. Sorry about the noise, guys. I live on Main Street, which is extremely annoying, especially when you're trying to record videos, but I just haven't learned to deal with it. Okay, so it looks like the, uh, the knuckle to the steering bolt, or the caliper to the steering knuckle gets torqued down to 85 foot-pounds. So, don't ask me for newton meters, but we'll go up to 85. 84, it's 84 and some change. I'll just do 85, play it safe, I guess. Okay. Okay. 85 foot pounds. Okay, so this is torqued down. 84 ish, 85 foot pounds. Nice tight. That's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rotor one more time. I got the so the, the torque spec for the this caliper holder to the steering knuckle is 85. To here it's 22 foot pounds for the for the actual caliper itself. So we're gonna go ahead and get the brake pads on once I clean the rotor, and then we're gonna just grab everything up. Let's get this gabber over here. Now, here comes the fun part, compressing it. Now, I have a tool for this, I'll go get it. So here's the tool, right here, look at this. Um, so what it does is, it goes like so, locks in, it pushes 
It's up against it. There we go. That's the right way. And you want to go slow. You, I've actually uh, overflowed the brake fluid before, and that's not fun. Nice and slow. This is pressed in. That's probably more than I'm going to need, but I did it that far anyway. Let's go ahead and get the pads. So, try to keep your finger, your dirty, grubby fingers off. <laughs> so it's going to sit like so in that one. Should slide right in. This one should slide right in as well. You want obviously the pad, the contact, to be. Ah, shoot. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Make sure it's not damaged. Okay, it's good. You want the pad to be making contact with the road. So, <sighs> these things are hard. It's got springs on the top of the brake pads. It's weird. I've never, I've never seen that before. And you just want to equally tighten these down. Just make sure they're hand tight. And then, like I said, 22 foot pounds for torque specs. So for this, I'm gonna have to just go good and tight because I just can't get a good angle on it, honestly. And I don't want to strip this bolt out. So, apologize if it bothers anybody. Okay, so. Good enough. These are brand new brake pads and rotors. So you're gonna get a little bit of some sound on it. That's acceptable. Let's go put the tire back on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the, I just wiped off the rotor. I checked the brake lines, they're all good. Calibers are good. It's rubbing, but you know, it's a new pad, not a new brake pads. So I just looked it up a line. It's torqued down to 80 foot pounds is what you need to put it to, so. On. Like I said, online it says torque them down to 80 foot pounds, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm just gonna snug it for now, and then I'll get it on the ground and then actually tighten it down. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and lower it. Make sure everything's out of the way. Slowly, hopefully. This jack's not the best. Come on! There we go. Okay, I've not let all the pressure on it yet since these are studs and I don't want it to accidentally snap it. So. so. Alright, that's it. She's on, new brake rotors, new brake pads. There's the old rotor, there's the mess. But yeah, um, I hope that was somewhat useful for you guys. I'll be I'll be making sure I list everything needed in this. Um, 60 bucks for the front brakes to be done correctly with rotors and pads, I think it's pretty reasonable. The, the drums still feel good based on the parking brake, but uh, I might as well just replace them. I do have to replace the shocks on this, so. That'll be probably my next video. But uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions uh, or any anything you need help, just post it in the comments. Thanks.